I was going to buy this car. This is like six years ago when I bought my car. And uh, there was, there was all kinds of people were telling me that, oh, this car is going to have problems. Uh, it's on, it's got air suspension. It's going to be a nightmare, blah, 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 blah. It's going to be costing you a lot of money to repair it. But down deep, I knew it's solid. Outside of all the evidence and all the logic and all the stories and everything that I read on the internet that don't go and don't buy this car down deep. I just knew it from the moment I looked at it. I knew that this is solid and I bought it. I mean, it took me a little bit of time. I hesitated a little bit and I went and looked at other stuff based on the recommendations of the experts. But then at the end, I went back and I bought that car. So my existence took me there. But I just knew it's not going to give me any problems or major problems. And it's been, kind, it's been like this all of my life. And even, even the times that I really don't do what uh, what I know deep inside and, and I, I don't follow it and it turns to be a negative experience or disaster. Um, you, I just know it. And the more you rely on it, the more stronger it gets because the more you're trusting yourself or the trusting the process this knowing something inside you knows it's always it it's always known now we're getting more tuned in And, you know, sometimes you're hearing voices within yourself and it's telling you something. So how, how do I distinguish that voice telling me something, don't do this or don't do that? You know, it just comes. And how do I distinguish that from the mind? It's almost impossible to explain it. But when you get more tuned in, you already know. It's like, and you know these things. We're talking about something you already know, okay? I'm not, I'm not teaching you or telling you something you don't know. How, uh, if you don't mind, I'm just going to mute you right now because there's a little bit of background sound. So, but then if you want to ask me questions, just unmute yourself, okay? So, um. How do I explain to a family member or a friend who is not interested or they're, they're always thinking very logical of everything about these things? Now, let's say you're talking to your husband, you're talking to your sister, you're talking to your mom, best friend, someone close to you that you love. And you're trying to, and they're not, they're not on the path. And, uh, and you're trying to explain this to them. And it's, it's impossible. Because they just don't get it. They don't get it because it's not their experience, or they're not ready for it. So you can't explain it to them. And you're trying and it's very frustrating because you see they're struggling or they're suffering or they're worried all the time. And you're trying to just say, look, it's not really, it's, you know, look at this way, discover this way. And you can't, it just doesn't go in. So similarly that you cannot explain your realization of your way of being and recognizing 
the intelligence and the wisdom that's operating the world, operating life, that you have come to this understanding, you have come to touch it. Similarly, that you cannot explain it to someone else. It's the same thing. That the voice you hear inside, you somehow come to understand and realize when it's mind and when it's God. You have, you want to unmute yourself? You have something to say? Yeah. No, I just want to say thank you. That, that makes right. sense. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Right. But again, you got to, it takes time. It takes, um, I mean, you continuously have to come back to the teachings it, for years and years. For me, it was the same thing. I'm still, sometimes I just go back and listen to Papaji. I go back, listen to, uh, watch Ramana Maharishi's uh, documentaries, go listen to other Advaita Vedanta teachers. Um, every once in a while, you just go and and even though the understanding is here, it's still nice to listen to other teachers who are teaching this or read something. So it's not so much like it used to be for me in the past that I come, I, that I go on YouTube and you know, it goes into bursts. Sometimes, you know, I get really obsessed or I get really into. And there was for a while I was listening to a lot of videos from Ramesh, Ramesh Balsakar, who's an, who teaches the same uh, spirituality, same teachings. And it reinforces your understanding. So... Like when Candace mentioned that, thank you, you know, I have to come back here and listen to you, or I have to come back to the academy or watch some of your videos to uh, reconfirm. It's totally natural. Don't feel like you didn't get it. If you come back and listen again, it's reinforces. Because you have to pay, you have to understand it's thousands of years of conditioning, and it's your complete life from childhood that you've been conditioned on a false way of thinking and a false spirituality and false way of being that existence or the system or civilization. All of your life has been conditioning you to be something you are not. So it's sort of become second nature. And then you come across this teaching, with, which is a very small percentage of, first of all, this, the in comparison to the 7 billion people on this planet, I really don't know how many people live on this planet anyway, but, but let's say they say it's a number to me. It doesn't matter 7 billion or 5 million. It won't make any difference to me because the vision that I have is just a few people. That's as far as I see them. 